Hey guys, it's Angie and today I'm going to show you how you can use what you already have to practice basic HTML. And so this is going to be an option that's available for PC users and Mac users. And the thing is that a lot of times when you're starting something new, there's a big mountain you have to overcome. It, it feels like, what ID, IDE do I need to use? Or what different tools? Or should I pay for this? Or what do I need to use? And it really doesn't have to be that complex. There's opportunities uh, to practice this code, whether you're connected or offline, um, just on your machine already. And so if you're a Mac user, you will want to open up text edit. And if you are a PC user, you can use something like Notepad. And this is just for very basic practice. And you can get started without downloading a single thing. And I'll walk you through this so you can open it up just because I'm on a on a Mac. I'll show you how to do that so on, on this, but the, the process is the same. Alright, so this is how you'll do it. What you want to do is open up text edit if you're on a Mac or notepad if you're on a PC. And once you're in there, input your code however you want it. And then the key is you want to save it as a .html. And what that does is it creates an HTML file that the browsers can read and interpret. And so once you've saved that, all you have to do is double click that icon or wherever you saved it in your machine, in your system, and it will open up to your default browser. And now you've seen how you've been able to apply that code. So there's so many websites out there, Code Academy, all of these different tools like um, Team Treehouse, which I highly recommend if you're looking for project-based learning and Linda, of course. So all of these tools, they can often give you an environment, but you don't need that environment to practice. You can practice with what you already have without downloading a single thing. Another fun uh, key fact that you can use is that you don't have to be connected to the internet to practice. You can use Notepad, you can use text edit, and be able to open it up in a browser and see how your changes and the code that you've applied makes changes in those environments uh, offline. And so that means there's times to practice whether you're on a long road trip or you're on the airplane. So I hope that these tips are very helpful for you if you're beginning and you don't want to commit and it's uh, something difficult to overcome when you're looking at IDEs or different environments that you might need to download. Do you need to purchase something? Yada, yada, yada. Just start with what you already have. And I think that's a, a great tip for our philosophy in life. Do what you can with what you already have. Something that I'm continuing to learn and practice every day. Anyways, good luck. And um, also, if you really wanted to look at at the next step, I would suggest looking into using an editor like Sublime, and it's just going to be the same process. The only thing is that it helps <clears throat> it helps make that code a little bit easier to see and make edits along the way because of the color the color applied and also the font is um, blockier. It looks like code, and it's kind of fun to just play around. But if you're really looking to get started, just follow those tips, and and you'll be um, headed down the path of learning HTML and developing websites in no time. All right, good luck, and I'll talk to you in the next video.